the head of the fire service, the head of the army uh, head, the head of the army, and I believe the head of the immigration. And as the electoral commission also sits there. But we, as we mentioned, our involvement is really restricted to the movement of our activities, the protection of our, our installations by the police, the supervision or the observation of the printing, and so on and so forth. As to the security deployment, we are not aware, and we do not, we are not privy to it. So we would, you know, we we would we would investigate these issues that you have made. It's important that when you make these, uh, you raise these issues, you are very direct and you provide information as to where those things are. But with, in terms of security, there's, we have no hand in it and we do not make security arrangements. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, the retaining officer. So we have um, two other questions. Um, the first one is the, the distance, the sitting distance. And I will not say that we have maybe 100 meters, 200 or three. The rule is that the agents are to sit at a place where they can observe the process. It is only in this part or let's say this place that you have agents sitting on the neck of election officials. This should not be so. You find agents very close and then sitting on the neck. They don't even have a, a, a space to breathe. They are expected to sit at a distance that they can observe the process. Then this issue of exposure of some validating stamp. What we do is very simple. What is in the public domain is wrong. When we are packaging the election materials, we put them in an envelope and put it into the ballot box. It is only the indelible ink that we put into a rubber because of a possible what? Spillage. So the assertion that we have um, exposed validating sums is not correct. Then which other question? Yes. Yeah, the wager by way, that one, it hasn't actually come to our attention. So we will investigate and then um, give you a report on it. Thank you.